Okay, just, just, no, just, no, just, no. just, 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 Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is James. And I'm Kimmy. And today we're doing the Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Challenge. That's it. Okay, so before we start the video, make sure your subscribe button is clicked and your notification bell is ticked so you never miss a video because we upload three times a week. And what will they be doing by clicking that button? You're joining the Jammy Squad. Woo, we the best squad there is. I'll tell you, that's a fact. It don't get much better than this. Uh -huh. hey. Hey. Yeah. Right, so the way this game works is uh, there's a series of questions. So like, who takes the longest in the shower? Who is better at tying their shoelaces? Who is the best at being an all-round lovely person? And what we have to do is we have paddles. So we've got Team Kimmy and Team James. So obviously Woo. I'm blue. Kimmy's pink. Okay, so the first question is a nice, simple one. You can play along by the pole at the top. Yep. So somewhere at the top, for each question, you can just click and click which team you think is the one. Okay, so the first question is, who takes the longest showers? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Guys, you know this one. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, reveal. Team James. Yeah! Yeah. You do. He it's takes gone. the longest showers. Oh it's relaxing. It's therapeutic. I like to be there, enjoy myself. You play music. music. He has like music. a speaker for the shower. He just plays music in there, chills in there. I'm in, out, bosh. Yeah, no, it's true. Okay, so on to question number two. Who has the better dress sense? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, I went Kimmy. I went half and half. 50 50. Yeah. You're very good with style. Like, you style me as well. You dress me like. It. Yeah, but I feel like in dressings as well, when you find what works, you look really good okay. in clothes. You know what I mean? But for me, I can dress other people, but can't dress myself. No, you do, babe. You always look flawless. Oh, you stop. always look flawless. There's not a time when you don't look stop. flawless. Stop. <laughs> you were just being nice by doing that. No! Half and half. You were like, which one no, is no. it? Which one is it? I'm serious, like, I feel like I dress other people better than I dress myself because That's I can I mean. fully see you and visualise what looks good on you. But you look great all the time and you're good at dressing other people, so you, I'd say you have the better dress sense, but it's too late. The moment's gone. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Third question is, who is the funniest out of you two? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Yeah, three, two, two one, go. <laughs> <laughs> I give you moment, top yeah. class banter. You do give me top class banter, but your top class banter is for a specific audience. Your top class banter is good for everyone. Me. No, everyone. Jules finds me hilarious. My mum finds me semi hilarious. But your mum has the best banter. Yeah, ever. she does. Yeah. But then when you two are in the room, like you are so funny. Yeah. Like they're so, so funny. That's what I mean. So that's if, what I'm no, funny. no. You're only the funniest. When you're in a tag team with your mum. Okay. And I'm just funny as a solo man, so technically, can you see what I did there? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it will leave that one for you guys to vote for. Fourth question is who is smarter out of you two? Oh, okay. I know who I'm going for. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, you went for me as well. I should have voted myself because I do feel like I'm technically smart. I you're, feel like you're knowledgeable. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're book smart and like, um, you're, you are smart. That's it, book smart. Yeah, you're book smart. No, Dan, yeah. I feel like reading books and remembering. Well, you stick with the banter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are smart, but I think there's a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't even convince himself whether I'm smart or not. No, I think we're both very smart people. Yeah, but, but I'll give it to you because you have a wider range of knowledge. I try to take in as much information on lots of different things. See, look, look, look. See, I'm definitely smarter. Everything I said, he just widened the bracket yeah, and explained yeah, it further. Yeah. I said, you have a wider range of knowledge. I just take in a variety of <laughs> information <laughs> see that's being smart using other people's ideas as your own that's your idea that. becomes our idea becomes my idea um, well, you are very smart right okay so big question is who is the tidier one out of you two easy. that's an easy question easy. team kimmy all the way i am so tidy it's obsessive mm. like 
I clean you've seen, and I you've love seen it. The vlogs. We'll be sat there, she'll whack out the hoover, start cleaning, start putting stuff away. She loves it. I can't even, I'm, I'm nowhere near. Most people, if you get a chance to go home for lunch, you would spend like your 30, 40 minutes or an hour to just relax, get some lunch, go back to work. I come back and I start cleaning and cleaning and then I eat and then I go back to work. And I feel like I've had a rela relaxing lunch because I've yeah, which is great. I love it because I always come back to a nice, clean, and tidy home. But I would say I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, you are. I, I do like to get involved as well. But yeah. you, I've got like an obsession of clean. It's like I think clean. you like to get involved, but this is like the smarter thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shall I say something and then you just expand on it? Yeah. <laughs> I get involved when I'm like, okay, it needs to be done. Yeah. I think when now we're both fat. really busy, you really yeah, take yeah, initiative. Like, yeah. babe, let's do some cleaning together. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because we've been so busy. Or when you know I'm busy, you just kind of get on with it. Yeah, yeah. But if you know I'm not busy and I've had the day off, socks are flying here, putting, there, putting, everywhere. <laughs> no, but it's lovely. It is nice that you've got. That's, that's a good obsession to have. Yeah. Okay, so the sixth question is: Who is the most romantic out of the two of you? <laughs> okay, so I know who I've gone for. Most Three, romantic. Most romantic out of the pair of us. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah, I'd say so too. I'd say you are the most romantic out of the pair of us. Yeah, I feel like you're very romantic in yeah. terms of you always put me first. Yeah. Kim is very romantic in a way like it's the little things and all the little things she does, she does every day. And like that all adds up to like a big level of romanticness. So I'll come home one day, uh, she might have got a, like a new shirt and said, oh here babe, you've had this. She was surprised with the, the 100K plaque and stuff. Like it's all the little things that she does. like. All Oh, I've cooked his dinner. Oh, I've picked you up. Oh, I've got a little surprise for you when you come. Kimmy's very good at doing that, and that's why I'd say you are the most romantic one out of two of us. Oh, thanks, babe. It's because I think about you throughout the whole day. It's not so that, it's I, like, I think about you all the time. Oh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, like you're always in the front of my mind. Yeah. And I know sometimes if you have a stressful day, I feel like I want to cheer him up. I want to do something that makes yeah. him smile. Or if I know, like, oh, you're kind of upset or whatever, or you're down about something. So what can I do to just crack him up, cheer him up? Top it's level like, banter. Got, you know, she brings out the banter. I do, I do, I do. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Next one is, who is the most spontaneous out of the pair of you? Oh, gosh. That's a good one. I know this one. Well, I yeah, okay, I know. Ready? Okay. Yeah, three, two, one. No, I, <laughs> that's who I go for. I'm going for me. Yeah, I like yeah. you too. Yeah, we both like routine, mm -hmm. and we both like structure. Yeah, but I think they get to a point where like, I need to do something. Whereas you are happy to like. I'm like a proper homebody. I like being at home. I like chilling. I've never been a club girl. I've never been a take me to the club. I'm a. We don't go clubbing you, though. We yeah, don't, I'm just. I don't no, go I'm clubbing. just saying. I've never been it. Like even when I'm making young. me sound like oh she's at home when well, I'm off no, to the no, club. No, 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 no. Like I never used to like clubbing. I do like activities if we're gonna do an activity yeah. or go on holiday, stuff like that I enjoy. If it doesn't require but, walking, biking, Yeah, but running, I'm saying, but I'm a homebody. Yeah, yeah, I'm a homebody that like, I like to chill out, I like to relax. Whereas you, like last time when we were meant to get, be relaxing get. at home, literally like was it like an hour into the relaxing at home? Oh wait, we've got to do something. He looks depressed. Yeah, like, literally yeah. depressed. Do you know what it is? Yeah. I feel like if I'm not doing anything, I'm not moving forward. That's how I feel like. So when we've got a day to chill out, because my life is so manic the majority of the time, when we've got a day to chill out, if I feel like I'm not doing anything, I feel like I'm not moving forward. So I feel like it's a day wasted. It's because you're always on the go, yeah. go, go at work. Like moving, so I don't moving, like get to feel like I'm wasting a day yeah. or a moment or a minute or a second. So there's only so much Jane the Virgin you can watch back to back. <laughs> And then a friend's back to back on Netflix where then it's like, I have to do something. I have to I stimulate my brain yeah. and go something. And it's not as exciting as it sounds, especially when it says, we can have a lion tomorrow. <laughs> 7am. I hear movement. I don't know what it is. I hear the phone going off. I hear clicking. <laughs> I'm like, babe, this is not a lion. It is 7 o'clock. It feels like a lion for me. I know. Okay, and the final question of today's wonderful challenge is, who is the most sensible out of the two of you? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. <laughs> sensible. Who is the most sensible? Yeah, I know who I'm going for. <sighs> Three, two, two one. one. Oh. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For what? Money? Yes. <laughs> Money and yes. planning. And there's other things that should be considered when you say sensible. 
money and planning. You, yeah, are like, oh, don't worry about it. It will happen. It will come. It will this. I like to have plan now and for anything that's coming up in the future, around the corner, up the road. Yeah, that's that, that's I've still financial plan. planning. That's financial. No, no, but plan. like, okay. like structure okay. kind of, of our journey together. I like to be. I like to plan my life, your life, our life, where we're going. You are like, ah, oh, it will come. Don't worry about no, it. No, no, no. That shouldn't yeah, be sensibility. Yeah. That's not sensibility. Sensibility is the way you also carry yourself and the way you are. And do you know your attitude towards things? That should all count. Okay, so 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 give us an example. Let's even find out what the word sensible really means so we can define this. Define. Define. Book smart. Fantastic. Practicality, realistic, responsible, reasonable, rational, logical, sound, balanced, and no nonsense, serious minded, thoughtful. I had to say! Thank you, just, 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 just no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Because you can only vote for five questions. Comment below on who Who's you the think, most sensible? Who, who you think is the most sensible out of the both of us? You know us. You heard what it says most sensible, most realistic, most logical. logical. Yeah, no nonsense, serious minded, thoughtful. Thank you. Thoughtful. Thank you. Down to earth. Thank you. Thank you. It's all me. It's all me. I'm pretty sure we have my name next to it on the dictionary. Ooh. Comment below. Let us know who you actually think is more sensible. I think it's me. Okay, so we'll leave that there. That's the end of the video, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, on Friday, we'll be uploading another video. So make sure you are prepped for that with that notification bell being ticked. And also on Sundays is vlog days. Sunday is a vlog. Sunday's vlog yeah. days. A lot of you comment saying that you don't get notifications for the videos. You can't get notifications unless you actually tick yeah. the bell. Because just subscribing will not give you notifications. You have yeah. to tick the bell and you get notified every time we post or if we live stream. Yes, because that's another thing we're doing. A lot of live streams as well. So yeah. if you want to jump on one of those, make sure that's ticked. Mm -hmm. So there it is, guys. Thank you again for watching. You know what time it is. It is time to vote it out. Let's go. <laughs> And, and cut it. it. See, didn't do leg day, so my legs are fine. <laughs>